I wanted to do architecture since I was maybe 15 or 16. I originally started because while studying I needed some work and I'd been here before and I loved it and I had to try and get a job. My name's Rory Ward. I work at the Design Museum in High Street Kensington and I'm a visitor experience assistant. I think people need to and sort of have a right to experience design. Everything around us has been designed. Design isn't just about humans, it's about sort of everyone, everything. It can be used purely for the purpose of the object, but also to look beautiful while doing that too. And of course, the building is, for me, iconic. There's no other building like it in London. And it's really stunning when you first walk in. And I think, for me, being interested in architecture, that was really quite special to see. The Design Museum is trying to sum up the past 150 years of design. When I first came to the museum, I was really impressed by the variety of objects they had. Design can be an art, depending on its function. It might be needed to be beautiful, but also for what it's doing, it might not need to have that aesthetic value. The interactions on an everyday level with people is so lovely because I learn about them and they can offer advice and sort of comfort when I need it and I think I'm a better person because of it. It's always felt quite therapeutic coming in and seeing my colleagues. I'm really fortunate to have people around me that are caring and I love the environment. One thing that's really lovely is having visitors coming in and spotting things that they have in their homes, especially technology from 40, 50 years ago, record players, tape players. It's a sort of nostalgia that people get from a time before the internet and smartphones. My dad has spoken about making mixtapes for my mum and I think it's so sweet. It's sweet when people ask me about my opinion on things, about design. I think it's important to, you know, tell people it's not the good design museum, it is just the design museum. For example, the lemon squeezer on the crowdsource wall, lemon juice goes everywhere when you use it, but it looks really cool. Seeing a lovely teapot you might think, oh, that's great, I'd love to have it. And you get it and it pours terribly or it doesn't keep it hot. I think my favourite object in the museum is the little radio watch. For me, it's a sort of nostalgic sort of view on design from the 80s when it was made. I think it's so cool to have designs which can do more than one thing. And of course, it's different now because we've all got something in our pockets that does a whole lot of stuff. My second object would be the Game Boy that we have in the tech wall in the Design and Make User collection. For me, growing up, having a Game Boy Color was, you know, the sort of console I was used to. We've got a whole front of a tube in the collection. And also the maps showing iconic sort of design of London and the transport network, which serves so many people for so many different reasons every day. It's special to London and it doesn't work anywhere else, but you know, that's what design's about. I think people should come to the Design Museum because I think it will explain a bit about what makes design work. You know, not necessarily what makes it special, but just what makes it work. Why it looks how it does, why it serves its purpose so well, why you have it in your house. And it's nice coming to a museum that's free and offering something sort of not like an education, but you know, sort of improving people's knowledge of stuff, I think is so cool. Something that's so important to me.